Jai Hind everyone, my name is Ramit and welcome to the Patriotic IS platform. Uh, the today's session will be based on particularly a uh, discussion on the goals, objective and aims of this platform and particularly why we have created this platform. This will be discussion and uh, what will be the approach for the UPSC, what, what could be the best possible approach for the UPSC preparation that will be our main focus point for the discussion. Simply, what is the, uh, in a simple word, the main goals and objective of, for creating this platform is to provide a quality and precise education for the UPSC aspirant and uh, make this UPSC preparation affordable to the every section of the society, uh, with, uh, whether it could be the most humble a social background or uh, if a person and his child or her child coming from the most humble background like though if the parents is working in the uh, working in the uh, field agriculture field or the working in a, as a nurse in the hospital or, or working as a support staff in any of the office even if uh, working as a coolie as the railway station or the bus station even if the parent of that particular aspirant is working as a domestic help, uh, those aspirant could afford the education, as well as those uh, students can uh, also have the accessibility of the quality education. I know there are a lot of uh, online platforms where the, uh, we already have resources, but they are not structured, and they don't have the proper mantle who can provide a regular uh, maintaining or the guidance on a regular basis. But this platform is totally dedicated uh, every time around the EU uh, for the uh, guidance to the those, uh, those aspirant. <laughs> yes, and uh, beside that, uh, accessible and affordable because the mobile phone is accessible and affordable uh, for the any person, just you have to manage and uh, you should have the internet connection and after that you have to just need to concentrate yeah though there is the difference between the online mode and offline mode in online mode uh, it is a uh, very uh, difficult to concentrate and, uh, and uh, discipline yourself for the preparation but if you want to prepare if you want to uh, go uh, uh, if you are aspiring to become an is officer or ips officer or the ifs officer so it needs a lot of discipline. Without that, uh, if you are not uh, able to bring discipline, if you are not able to control yourself, how you will able to control when you will be a district collector? And the population of a district will be the th uh, 30 lakh, 35 lakh. Uh, how you will control the mob? So if you don't have the self-control, if you don't have the self-discipline, you cannot or uh, you are not deserving to for that post so you need to bring discipline and uh, you need to bring the control on yourself focus on education focus even on the online mode that will be the your responsibility if you want to uh, cut your cost for the preparation you have to learn discipline you have to learn self control you have to learn how to motivate yourself <laughs> So this platform will provide the quality education and this platform will provide a structured form of resources and continuous mentoring, service, uh, mentoring uh, services and mentoring sessions if you want you can mail us already we, we will provide the email id that is the info at the patrioticis.in and uh, if you want to do, uh, if you want offline mentoring session, online mentor, uh, mentoring session, all will be provided. You will be provided with the test and uh, other mock test. Uh, if you want to practice the question, all things will be provided. You will be provided the resource, everything, one-stop solution. This, this platform will be like the one-stop solution. And uh, this platform will be like the uh, sharing, balancing the education, uh, education uh, balancing the uh, particularly the burden on the aspirant and uh, the benefit uh, motive particularly the earning the benefit uh, by this platform 
it will be balanced it will be created in a such a manner that uh, we can provide our employee a basic standard life or uh, reasonably good as well as reduce the burden on the aspirant or the student who are uh, joining this platform so this is the main motive aim and goal of this particular platform and uh, we will be consistently trying our best effort to provide best possible uh, guidance, best possible resource, best possible lecture that is relevant for the UPSC preparation and also it will be provided in a time-bound manner. So I think I am clear about the aims, objective and the goal of this platform. If you have any any doubt or anything, you can ask, you can mail us again. Uh, we, uh, You all have the email ID. And uh, whenever you have the query, just uh, just mail us. We are not providing the chat link here on the YouTube because uh, there they could be the distraction. <laughs> so mail us and we will promptly, uh, we will reply to whatever the query you have. Okay. Second thing is that what are the approach that is needed for the UPSC? Uh, preparation so before going into the uh, knowing what should be the proper uh, approach what should be the best strategy for the UPSC preparation you you need to know what are the question that has been asked in the last four or five years what has been the trend of the UPSC uh, where they are asking uh, the question what are the area what are the focus area of the UPSC and you need to align UPSC focus area with your focus area so there are the few major topics you need to know, those major topics that UPSC ask, and if you, will, if you will focus on that particular area, it will be easy for you, uh, and it will be effective for you to prepare for UPSC. So let's uh, analyze the trend of uh, UPSC for the last, last few years, last particularly four years. I think this is the trend analysis. So we will start with the uh, UPSC prelims 2023. Recently, uh, this was uh, this was held in the May, and uh, yes, if you will go through the UPSC uh, trend analysis, these are the number of the question. These are the topics from that UPSC has asked the question. This is the number of the question. Uh, you all must be knowing that uh, UP UPSC has the th three stage of the. Oh, examination pattern. The first stage is the prelims. The first stage is prelims. Second stage is mains. And third stage is interview. This stage particularly elimination process is involved here. Or oh, this or oh, the marks from this level is not counted at the below level uh, in the final selection but this is for the elimination near about five six lakh of student gives this examination and uh, near about ten uh, ten thousand nine thousand to ten thousand people qualify from this uh, uh, qualify for the men's education um, a men's examination there is the two paper gs paper one and gs paper two this GS paper 2 is also known as the CSAT paper. CSAT, this is just qualifying. You just need to get 66 marks out of 200 marks. And they ask 80 questions. In this GS paper 1, this is, uh, this makes the cutoff and this paper also has 200 marks, 100 question, and cutoff of the last four or five years is varying between 85 to 90 marks, something like that, 85 to 90 marks. It has never crossed the 90 marks, means in the last three, four years, that has been the trend. The cutoff has been gone very low. You have to get 85 to 90 marks, and to get 85 to 90 marks, the trend has been that even if you attempt 75 question and 53 is correct, each question is for the two mark, it will be 106 mark. And if out of 75, this is the positive mark, that is the correct attempt, and if you have made 
20 2 incorrect so it is the one third of the total mark two marks for this question two or uh, uh, one third of the two mark okay so it will be a round not the exact figure a figure around the 15 if I reduce the 50 it will be 91 so even if you are going to just attempt 75 you are going to leave 25 question in 20 uh, to 75 53 is correct and even 22 is incorrect your mark will be well above the cutoff mark so this should be the approach whatever you are going to uh, attempt this should be a very sincere attempt okay so what should be the focus area now till now we uh, we are uh, we have discussed that generally number of the question that you need to attempt is 75 and the correct attempt you need to make around 50 to 53 maybe 55 this should be around 50 to 55 56 even if you are going beyond 52 you are the very well within the cutoff mark so you should remember that attempt is not you are not going to it is not compulsory to attempt all the question you have to attempt 75 you have to leave even you are going to leave 2025 you are you are you will be able you will be comfortably able to enter the or you will be comfortably able to get your marks well above the cutoff mark. So uh, we need to know what type of question, what are the focus area of the UPSC. Okay. So you should keep in your mind how many question you need to attempt, 75 to 80. How many question you need? Uh, uh, there uh, it is necessary to be a correct attempt. It should be around 53 to uh, 56. Okay. So. If you go through the analysis of last year, you will find that the, this is part of the his, this is history. This is history. This is history. Okay. So just summarize it under the history part. A number of question you can count five plus two seven plus three ten plus three thirteen. 14 question is from the history we are just trying to know we are just trying to know that what is the focus area for the UPSC if UPSC is going to ask the question what are the area they focus and we will align our preparation strategy same as the UPSC strategy so history question that has been asked is 13 question economics economy or the economics whatever you tell 14 question environment 16 question geography 13 question polity and 14 question is here so these are the five major area that UPSC ask the question uh, these are the basically also some of them of the static part you need to go through the static area of this area and other two area that is also very important but mostly the question comes from this area is from the dynamic part means current affairs like the newspaper and monthly current affairs of the any any institution will be more than sufficient okay so these two area is international relation where is the international relation six questions and uh, science and technology this science and technology this is also from the dynamic part this is six the number of questions from the science and tech science and technology science and technology is the six so if you will add 14 plus 13 or 27 27 plus 14 it is it will be 41 or uh, then uh, 16 or uh, 47 plus 10 57 57 plus 13 I think or uh, 60 plus 70 question let me again revise uh, this two added 29 29 plus 4 33 43 43 plus 36 uh, 46 56 plus 14 70 right so 70 question you get from this five major area and 12 question from these two area so if you will add this seven major area 70 plus 12 it will be 82 as we already have calculated that the number of attempts we needed do you remember it was 75 to 80 maximum 
and from the seventh topic edit education has been asked this trend had been continuous for the each of the year i will summarize i will show you from the each of the eo so if you are going to focus the seven area you will be in a very comfortable position to attempt 80 to 85 question 70 uh, 75 to 80 question and beside that you will be if you have a better accuracy level even if you are going to uh, i am giving you a scope to make incorrect attempt for the 20 22 question and correct attempt for the 50 55 question your marks will be always over 90. Is it clear that seven area you need to focus? This polity, history, economics, environment, geography, and many of them is overlapping with the GS paper of the main as well. I will show you that if you have the command on this area, you are very comfortable in prelims. So our approach for the uh, our, our lectures will be based on this focused area. We will try to target this area in a time-bound manner and we will also try to complete all the syllabus well before the prelims examination of 2025. This is paper from the 2022. Again, let me count the major area. The first area that we counted last time was the International Relations 7 question. If you will add both, it will be 18 question. Okay. And if you will add this 5 area, so 14 plus 14 plus 14, uh, 40, uh, 42, 42 plus 1, 43 plus 10, 53, 53 plus 2, 55, 65 question. Okay. And if you will add 65 plus 18, so it will be 83. Again, in the last paper, 2023, we counted 82 question, now 83. So it is always more than 75 question that is needed to attempt in prelims and you need to make accuracy in the 52 to 56, 57 to be uh, easily qualify, uh, able to be easily qualify the cutoff marks. So this should be the approach again. The same thing will be there if I will go for the 2021 paper. Let me again go for the 2021 paper so that those five major area. So I will start. This is the polity. In 2021, the question from the polity is 16. The question from the environment, it is 22. From the geography, geography, it is 5. Uh, from the history, history include ancient, medieval, modern, and this all. So 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 7, 18. And the last economics, economy, 14 question. If you will add up this five topic, 16 plus 22, 18 plus 20 or 8 plus 38, 38 plus 5, 38 plus 5, 43, 43 plus 8, 51 plus 10, 61, 61 plus 4, 60, 75. I think 75, let me again revise, uh, 32, 32 plus uh, 37, 37, 39, 39 plus uh, 59, 59 plus 6, uh, 6, 59 plus 6, 65 plus 10, 75, okay, 75, correct, and two area that is totally current affairs oriented, international relation, where is the international relation, basic science and science and technology, 9, and uh, Mostly the IR is the part of the current affairs, so it has been included into the current affairs. So even if you will add up 9 from the science and technology. Again, the total number of questions again comes to the 84, even without the IR question. So I hope now it is clear that you have to focus 7 area and in a very targeted manner, in a very concise manner, with the clarity on the each of the concept that is you are going to refer. You shouldn't be confused whenever you are referring anything. And even these are the static part, these are the static part, they are taken from the current affairs as well. The environment, most of the question is from the current affairs, most of the question from the geography is also from the current affairs. 
uh, the uh, word geography. Uh, this is not just geography. This is uh, many times the location uh, that is remain in the news. The UPSC asks the question, uh, the physical location such as the uh, what are the seas, what are the countries that is just adjacent to the particular location or the touch the location, rivers, uh, other thing, lakes. So all this thing is being asked in the geography. So this is the area where you need to focus. If you have the focus on this seven area, you will be very comfortable to deal with the prelims as well as mains. Mains, just so, or just let me show that how I am saying the mains as well. I think you remember seven topic that we have discussed in law. That is the core area where you need to focus. History and then geography. Then we discuss. Uh, environment, economy, okay, economy and polity. These were the based on the static part. They are linked always with the current affairs, but the totally dependent on the current affairs. We studied two areas. That is the we saw two areas from where the question is totally based on the current affairs, international relations and science and technology. Okay, so these are the area that is most of the 80 to 85 percent of the UPS equation is based on that and uh, they mostly they draw their uh, interlinking between the current affairs because the polity economy each of the question is their basis is the current affairs and they ask from the core area core concept. So whenever there is the current affairs you also need the basic concept whatever is mentioned in the current affairs but this question are totally based on the current affairs. Whatever there is, will be in the newspaper or the current affairs, they will ask directly the question from this area. This is not only for the prelims. If you will go through the mains syllabus, you will find that the GS paper 1 is totally based on the three topics. The first is history, second is society, third is geography. Let me show you the UPSC GS mains paper. Okay, so this is GS paper 1, general study paper 1, and you will find that this area, green area, from this uh, brick colors to this green area is the history part for the mains. This is the society part, this yellow said area, and this is the last part that is from the geography. So, just GS paper 1, you can do already you covered the okay so we saw that the geography and history and society just you have to add society and you will be done with the gs paper the one just this is extra main specific already we will be covering the history and geography in history the extra thing that you need to cover is the word geog uh, word history and all this thing will be within the GS paper 1. So, prelims, mains and an interview, whenever you are going to prepare that should be overlap. When you are reading for the, uh, you, when you are uh, reading history or geography, your mind should be that I have to solve the prelims question, MCQ question as well as mains subject to question. Your study should be with that approach. So, uh, out of 20 question in the mains, 16, 15, 16 question that comes from the history and geography, 4, 5 question, 6 question, mostly 6 question comes from the society. So if you are, if you have done, you have command on the history and geography, 60 to 70, many a times 80 percent of the syllabus you are covering for the GS paper 1. Let me show the GS paper 2 of the mains. This is the general study paper 2 and you will find that the, this governance Constitution, Polity, Social Justice, International Relation. Okay, so this uh, 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 this point from here to here is the polity. From this part to this yellow part, this yellow part, this is the governance area, role of the civil service. All this comes under the governance, and the last part, this is the international relation. Okay, let me minimize it. This part, this uh, mostly this part is the where the, my finger is there, uh, this is from the polity, totally polity, based on the constitution. Okay, this part is polity, this part is governance and social justice, 
the jo social justice will be also part of the society so, so oh, society and social justice they are overlapping they are the very similar like the welfare scheme for the vulnerable sex section this is uh, this comes under the social justice okay so so uh, governance and social justice particularly this topic or uh, this topic will be covered under the society as well overlapping with the society and this is the international relation so polity and international relation already you covered in the uh, prelims examination just extra need you to cover for the mains extra area you need to cover for the mains is the governance or the social justice again the 70% of the topic is from the polity and the international that is being asked in the mains gs paper 2 and only 20% is from the governance and the social justice so if you are you have good command of the polity and international relation you are done with the gs mains paper as well I hope now it is clear that how these those seven topics impact on the GS paper for the main as well. The next thing we will talk about, uh, we already discussed the remaining part. Okay, now comes the GS paper three. GS paper three that include economy environment. Okay. And extra thing, let me show you GS paper 3 of the mains, the syllabus of GS paper 3 of UPC mains. So this is the GS paper 3 mains, okay. This part, this part is economy. Overlapping with the prelims already we saw. Okay. This part is science and technology. Science and technology. Again, this is this is overlapping with the prelims we saw. This part is the environment. Already we saw the environment part is overlapping with the prelims. This part disaster management and this part internal security okay so only additional you have to study is the disaster management and the internal security otherwise you are done with the economy you are done with the science and tech you are done with the environment most of the area again this just 30 percent area that left for the you have to cover in addition to the prelims part so disaster management this is the disaster management disaster management you have to cover disaster management and internal security. Even this area is very small part. Already most of the part, 70%, 80% you are going to cover in the prelims itself. So it shows that the prelims, the seven topic that we are going to study in the prelims that is overlapping with the GS paper 1, 2, 3 and also you can use in the essay and also you can use many times in the ethics as well like the governance part you can use IR part you can use in the ethics as well so I hope you are clear that where you need to focus and where you need to particularly concentrate for your preparation the approach for the UPSC preparation should be based on the focus area of the seven area these seven areas these are the seven areas that you need to work and additionally other area where you need to focus uh, that could be additionally for the additional for the mains part and they are the very minute part 20% 25% from GS paper 1 to 3 in addition to do, uh, this you have to study the ethics so what should be the approach as per the my uh, my approach has been uh, for the uh, preparation of the seven areas totally based on the hindu analysis and uh, a deep a deep and a very thorough reading of the hindu and that has been the basis for the i have qualified for the prelims examination four times just totally based my education my all whole study plan approach on the hindu and i will show you that how the Hindu makes, uh, how the Hindu uh, co cover all this area. All this area you can find in the Hindu and additionally you can search, uh, you can Google search when there is the new concept or any concept that you are unaware of. So the preparation plan of UPSC should be in the three part. 
the first part should be the for the basics this seven basics area you should cover after that covering the seven basics area you should also cover the men's specific area as we saw in the gs paper one it was the society in gs paper two it was the governance in gs paper three it was the disaster management and inter internal security so additionally you have to study gs paper four whole you have to study additionally and beside that you have to focus on the uh, optional subject so those who don't know let me show that uh, UPSC pattern prelims those seven area dominates mains mains include GS paper 1 to GS paper 4 GS paper 3 and GS paper 4 they are common for the everyone one more thing that include in the mains is essay And one thing that is uh, often subject that could be different from the different aspirant as per their choice. So, optional subject. There will be the two two paper. Optional subject. It will have the two papers. So five plus two seven papers and there is additional two paper those uh, those papers are just qualifying their marks are not added for the cutoff of the mains those two qualifying you just need to one third of the uh, total mark that is the 300 so you need to out of 300 you just need to get 100 marks and those two qualifying they are the language paper you can choose one of the language Hindi and English that is common here there is the option for the Hindi but the English is the common so these are the papers two papers that is uh, only for the qualifying this is not for the their marks are not added in the cutoff cutoff is based on this and after that it is the interview so let me show that what have been the approach for uh, my uh, particularly what has been the approach for my preparation how I analyze the Hindu and uh, how I divide my day planning you should plan your day in the three three areas for the preparation the first should be dedicated to the static GS subjects you can give three to four hours then you should give current affairs current affairs you can give two hours 30 minutes because these current affairs is very important if you will get everything and this current affairs uh, will make you to know that what are the area where you need to focus and this current affairs shouldn't be the magazine only this is the totally based on the daily newspaper and daily newspaper that uh, that uh, match the standard of UPSC either it could be the Hindu or the Indian Express whatever you are comfortable with so these daily newspaper make the base for the current affairs because those who set the paper they are the professors from the JNU or the DU or the bureaucrats or the judges and they never go to the read the uh, particularly the magazines of any institute or the coaching they only study they only read the Hindu or the Indian Express maybe they can uh, they could have been reading other newspaper but the, as per the intellectual standard these two papers have the standard as per the UPSC and also they covered their or uh, that contents are that much uh, up to level that to uh, that suits particularly those intellectual personality so maximum it is found that the, the Hindu or the Indian Express so your focus should be the reading this the Hindu or the Indian Express in a very rigorous manner I don't know why the people say that uh, you only need to uh, give 45 minutes or the one hours for the Hindu but I think your study or your coverage for the Hindu should be as much as possible and uh, if you say that uh, you are from the that background or the those background where it will be difficult for you to cover the Hindu so you should know that uh, I also come from the very humble background. I come from a village. My all uh, my all education from class one 
to 12th has been from the hindi medium from the government school of the village area from 1 to 10 from on uh, 11 and 12th it was from the uh, city but it was again the government school and the college and uh, it was hindi medium so i make a tone uh, transition from the hindi medium to english medium I, I was able to read the hindu in a very rigorous manner and also my uh, social background particularly my parents both of my parents are not uh, they are uh, they are just qualified below the class 8 standard so i don't have that much uh, uh, educational background uh, from my parents side as well so if i can read i can study this the hindu and I can make a transition from the Hindi to English, why you not? You are much better position. So you should think that if that person, person like me can read the Hindu, qualify this privilege for the four times, why you not? And the third should be, and the third area should be optional subject. So your days should be divided, you can give two hours, you can again remaining two or three hours as per your capacity. And just show me, just let me show that the basic, that's why I am going to focus on uh, this platform I am going to use to discuss the Hindu in a very rigorous manner, the way I have studied. And I will show that my cutoff marks in the prelims has always been much above, much above to the cutoff marks. Let me show that. My cutoff marks always have been well above the cutoff mark of UPSC. So I gave continuously three mains in the 2020 uh, 20, uh, 2015. My marks was 100 around 115, and uh, yes, C sat people also it was 82. Then 2016, my cutoff marks again. My marks was around 113. Again, in the 2017, my marks 115. And this year also I appeared, and this year also my name was in the final, uh, particularly uh, the qualified list of the prelims, those qualified for the mains. And uh, yes, uh, now the marks has not uh, been declared till now, so just I have to show you uh, my admit card. This is my admit card, my roll number 849484. And this is the my uh, name in the uh, UPSC prelims list. So this is just to show that if I read, if my background is uh, that much humble, and if I can read the Hindu, I can qualify this for the four times. Why you not? If you make the effort, only one thing you needed from your side is the hard work, consistent work, and very much dedication for the preparation. So, my appeal from your side, from my side should be like that, a very dedicated study for the Hindu. Let me show that. Uh, any days of the newspaper will show that. Just give me one minute, I will show you that. What should be the approach for the preparation? Give me one second. Okay, just let me show that uh, how the impact of the uh, UP, uh, the Hindu study could be, uh, how the uh, this the Hindu uh, covered most of the area that we have seen in the focus area of the UPSC. For example, this is particularly this newspaper, Exosat, is associated with the science and tech. Just I am uh, bringing the topic that has been covered in single days of the, UP, uh, the Hindu newspaper. So uh, one thing more I will like to appeal from you, you all should, uh, at least as the ethical person, you, should, you all should join the, uh, subscribe to the, the Hindu so that you can download. And beside that, I will also provide, but to, as ethical person, they are, uh, they are uh, expending so much resource on the preparation of this news paper and the resources. So you should respect their hard work. And you should also subscribe. You should not download directly from the this site because we are just providing as a reference so that it will be easy for you people to save the time. You can know that what are the area where you need to focus, what are the folder points, what are the line you need to focus. You could uh, reduce other, uh, eliminating the other area where you can, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can escape. 
So this particular news is from the science and tech. This news is from the topic of the what economy. State news are that not that much relevant. This particular news could be the part of the polity uh, article 21 right to life because the dress code they are also uh, can be claimed as been uh, uh, associated with the right to life this wali painting is associated with the wali uh, wali chai is also associated with the uh, wali painting uh, that is the part of the history art and culture this news is particularly or uh, the uh, governance part uh, particularly in the area of the health so gs paper 2 Again, this covered the science and technology area. So already we have covered GS, uh, science and tech, polity, history is also there. This particularly from the IR, India Korea Defense Corporation, the relation between the India and, uh, India and Korea. This particular news is associated with the world history, uh, you can, a uh, world geography, you can locate the Bab El Mandab Strait, what is the strait you should know, what is the isthmus you should know, where is the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, all this can be part of the IR as well as the world history. The location of these uh, particular uh, uh, bodies and the geographical areas is important. UPSC asks question on the basis of the world history word geography sorry again ir economy and you can also use this as the ethics personality prominent personality had those who have taken a tough decision in a difficult situation again internal security this part uh, money laundering that uh, that is the part of internal security in uh, international relation india Nepal, India, Pakistan. Again, uh, this is the policy and the schemes decision of the state. Not that much relevant, but you can use as a fodder point. Uh, social schemes. Again, the GS paper two, polity and governance. Uh, this could be the part of disaster management and geography. Then economics, economy. IR. So in a single day, this this particular news is from the environment. So single day news, this is from the science and technology, also from the basic science, also the current affairs, uh, like the concept of uh, concept of psychoanalysis. General information also, but this is from the environment perspective. So you find that environment has been covered, international relation has been covered, science and technology has been covered, polity has been covered, even the history, the Wally painting could be the part of art and culture, history has been covered. So all the seven areas that the Hindu covers, that makes the Hindu so much crucial for the preparation. You need to give a lot of, not a lot of, but a particular, a justified time period, at least for the two hours, two hours, 30 minutes. So. Here, my approach will be focused on the Hindu. The way I have studied for the, all the years, I will study, I will try to explain here. I will not go uh, to bring extra board and extra information, but whatever there will be, I will try to explain that how you need to study and how you can use this. So the same newspaper, I will try to bring, uh, I will simplify, I will try to eliminate those area that is not part, that should not be the part of the UPSC syllabus. So this will be our approach, strategy for the preparation from the my side, from the this platform. We will also cover the static part whenever we will get time and in a time bound manner. But uh, yes, after 15 or 20 days, we will start one topic by one topic. Each uh, will be targeted for the particular days like the polity, Again, economy, environment, geography, history, IR, science and technology. The seven topics will be, and we will cover all the syllabus of prelims as well, mains by the February 2025. The, this preparation will be totally based on, uh, totally it will be uh, for the 2025 attempts. Those students who are going for the, uh, appearing in the 2025 attempt, this whole initiative will be beneficial for them. Okay. So, if you have any doubts or any query, 
again you can write us on uh, the email id that will be provided and uh, you if you want any mentoring session you can also write us on the mail we will slot we will provide a slot so that offline and online mentoring could be done okay i hope everything is covered so thank you for joining the session all the best we will meet again tomorrow thank you